In the creation process of a video, be it for YouTube, a short film, or maybe even an interview, there's always this one thing that kind of gets pushed off to the side, but is probably more important than the video quality itself, and that is the audio that you have for said production. Now, in that realm, there are tons of different microphones, of course. You have lavier microphones, wireless microphones, on-camera microphones, big microphones, and small microphones. But today in this video, I'm going to specifically talk about this kind of microphone, which is a kind of microphone that has no battery needed because it runs on the plug-in power provided by your camera. And it is a simple shock-mounted on-camera microphone. And in this case, it can even be used with a smartphone or a mirrorless camera or DSLR. Now the microphone that I'm holding right here is the VCM5 by VK Mova and they kindly provided it for the purpose of testing it, reviewing it and of course making a video about. Now this video however will also include other microphones namely by Rode because that is the one that I have experienced with and have used in the past. So basically I will also put this microphone up against this here which is the Rode Video Micro which looks kind of like this. And you might know this because it has been around for a very long time. However, this VCM5 might be an interesting choice or rather it might be throwing the Rode Video Micro off the pedestal being the main consideration of a getting started microphone, a on-camera increasing quality of scratch audio microphone and of course the type of microphone that does not need any type of battery. Now, in my opinion, that is one of the biggest benefits of these types of microphones because you don't have to worry about any additional batteries. Like, for example, when you are using something like the VideoMic NTG, this right here has an inbuilt battery. It cannot be changed on the go. You can just start charging it via USB-C, but you have to keep this battery in mind not to have it die on you whilst you are, for example, in the middle of shooting a video. You will have to kind of check up on the battery if it is still enough charge to get you through the day. Now the battery in here holds a long time so that's not necessarily an issue and it also has the great smart power on and off feature. However, this microphone also costs about five times as much as the Rode Video Micro and the VK Mova VCM5. Now all of the microphones that I'm showing here have some kind of a shock mounting solution. The Rode Video Micro, however, always has this issue that it kind of has the sound that is like dangling around and basically it has a very strong sound about that. Now there is a fix you can do by basically plugging in the cord back here so that it doesn't dangle around as much and has a secondary place. The VCM5 employs a completely different shock mounting solution than what I have ever seen. And to my eyes, this actually is really interesting because it solves a handful of problems. Thus far, for example, I have not had the kind of issue of this little dangling sound that I always have with the Rode Video Micro in this construction of the Rykord shock mount. And additionally, what I really like about this is the slim profile. As you can see, there's nothing that is standing up to the left and the right of the microphone comparing to, for example, this shock mount of the Rode Video Micro, where you can see that packing this is really complicated because you always have to worry about breaking those shock mounting things left and right. And in this case with the VCM5, you just don't have to worry about that at all. You simply push this into your backpack somewhere and you're good to go. But of course you can also completely take the microphone out of the shock mount and potentially replace it if that becomes necessary. Now of course we will also have to look at the sound of these different microphones. But before we do that, I want to kind of finish off the outside and the look of the microphone and the feature set. And there the VCM5 actually has a couple of interesting features over the Rode Video Micro. One is very visible right here at the back. It actually provides you two ports. The one on the left here is a line out. So this essentially is the mic out or line out for sending out the signal to your camera or whatever recording device you might want to use. And the other one on the right here is a headphone jack. Another really cool thing is that with the VCM5 you actually get two sets of cables so that you can use this microphone with your smartphone or your DSLR. 
Now here, CK Mover actually chose a little bit of a different route than I usually expect because they actually went with a TRRS to TRRS cable for the smartphone connection, which means that the connection inside of the microphone here, the line out, is actually a TRRS connection. And then on the other end, when you are connecting this to a camera, then you have a TRRS cable, which is the one with the four golden rings there, and then a TRS connection on the other side, which you plug into your camera. Now with microphones, this may be slightly unconventional because for example, the Rode Video Micro has a TRS to TRS connection on the microphone itself and then going to your camera. And then if you want to use this microphone with a smartphone, then you would have to purchase a TRS to TRRS adapter or get yourself a cable like this one, which is a TRS to TRRS. This end, the gray one, would go into your smartphone. And then on the other side, you would connect that to the video micro. Now, this is the way that has been done before. However, the way that they connected stuff up here is that you have a TRRS to TRRS connection going into the microphone itself. And when you have all of this hooked up and together, you actually have a connection. So you can actually also use this, for example, for something like a clubhouse room, a Zoom call or similar things. Now, I really like that companies are stepping up even in these categories of relatively small and inexpensive products like these microphones here. And you also have to consider that the VCM5 actually is also about $15 cheaper than the Rode Video Micro at the time of making this video. Now, all of this does not really mean anything if the audio quality ends up sucking. However, I have you covered with a bunch of audio tests, which I did with the VCM5, with the Rode Video Micro, and I also kind of included the VideoMic NTG, which is of course five times as expensive as any of those two, but to give you an idea what might be your possibility if you are upgrading. Now, with that said, let's jump into some of these sound samples. I always have a bit of a description on the screen so you know what you're hearing so that you can hear for yourself which of these microphones you prefer. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever to flow if you will keep digging. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever to flow if you will keep digging. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever to flow if you will keep digging. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever to flow if you will keep digging. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever to flow if you will keep digging. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever to flow if you will keep digging. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever to flow if you will keep digging. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever to flow if you will keep digging. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever to flow if you will keep digging. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever to flow if you will keep digging. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever to flow if you will keep digging. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever to flow if you will keep digging. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever to flow if you will keep digging. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever to flow if you will keep digging. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever to flow if you will keep digging. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever to flow if you will keep digging. Now for my ears, the internal microphones, be it on the iPhone or the Canon EOS R, are the worst ones that you can choose. And that of course is kind of obvious because the microphones aren't necessarily dedicated to giving you better audio quality. Now, if you want to step up your audio and you don't want to go all the way to something like the VideoMic NTG, which in my opinion sounds the best out of the tests in this one, I would go straight for the VCM5. It has less issues with interference and that actually was something quite surprising to me with the Rode Video Micro connected to the Rode VXLR Pro adapter connected to the Zoom F6 that I heard those interference problems there despite not having any phone really close. However, that problem just did not exist with the VCM5. And I also think that in terms of sound, the VCM5 is at least close to the Rode Video Micro, if not better on that front as well. Now, two other aspects that I want to mention are that this is a little bit heavier than, for example, the Video Micro, and it also is a little bit bigger in terms of the capsule. However, again, if you look at this from the front or the top, 
It actually takes much less room than the Rode Video Micro and you don't have to worry about those arms breaking off or anything. And so in that I think there goes a point to the VCM5 because it is just that much more practical, especially if you want to go for vlogging and you just don't want to worry about your microphone all too much. Now in terms of Windmuth, both of them come with one and I actually think that they are also quite necessary on these microphones, especially when you are outdoors. It makes the microphones significantly bigger, however the sound quality, especially with wind, is also way better. And that is something that I definitely noticed with the VCM5. Now I hope this video was interesting or helpful for you to learn more about the VCM5 from CK Mova. I think again it is really cool that companies are developing in these different areas and making these products more versatile for different use cases and also improve upon the quality that other companies have provided before them. Now if you have any questions you can leave those in the comment section down below. In the description you will find a link to the CK Mova so that you can check it out for yourself. And of course if you found this good I would appreciate a thumbs up. With all that said, I hope you have a amazing day, improve your audio no matter where you go without needing a battery and I will see you in the next video. Ciao ciao!